Imagine living in a world where your sense of touch replaces your eyesight. This revolutionary idea was explored by Dr. Paul Bakke Rita in his groundbreaking experiment, Vision Substitution by Tactile Image Projection, as published in Nature. This isn't science fiction. It's a glimpse into the incredible adaptability of the human brain. Before we jump in, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. It's crucial for us and beneficial for you to stay updated with life-changing insights. Dr. Baki Rita's experiment delved into sensory substitution, suggesting that we can use other senses to compensate for a lost one. The brain's flexibility allows it to interpret tactile information as visual data, a notion that opened new doors to understanding neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to form new neural connections. A remarkable device was used in this experiment. It converted visual information into tactile sensations. Visual images captured by a camera were transformed into vibrations on a tactile device placed on the back of a blind person. With training, these individuals learned to interpret these vibrations as visual information. The results were astounding. Participants could recognize objects and navigate rooms. More impressively, some advanced to distinguish shapes and even faces solely through pricking sensations on their skin. This extraordinary level of perception highlights the brain's ability to rewire and adapt to new sensory inputs. Why were these unconventional approaches effective? It's because the data entering the brain, photons through the eyes, air vibrations through the ears, or rod pressure on the back, are converted into familiar electrical impulses. The brain learns to interpret these impulses when they convey important environmental features. As Baki Rita stated in a 2003 PBS interview, if I look at you, your image doesn't go beyond my retina. From the retina to the brain, only impulses travel along neural pathways. These impulses are no different from those traveling along the big toe. They also carry the same information and have frequency and patterns. If one could train the brain to extract such information, eyes would no longer be needed to see. This research challenges traditional beliefs about sensory perception. It's not just about sight or touch, but about how the brain processes information. The brain is not hardwired to process information from only one sense. It can adapt, change, and use whatever information is available to create a perception of the world. This has profound implications for people with disabilities. It suggests we can create devices to help compensate for sensory loss, using the brain's natural flexibility. This experiment speaks to the resilience and adaptability of the human spirit. It reminds us of our incredible potential to overcome challenges and adapt to new circumstances. Baki Rita's experiment is a beacon of hope, reminding us that limitations are often just opportunities to explore new ways of perceiving and interacting with the world. This is the essence of human innovation and resilience. Vision substitution by tactile image projection isn't just a scientific study. It's a story of human potential and the incredible power of the brain, reminding us that to see the world in a new way, we might just need to feel it differently.